unscripted, unedited, uneducated, unconventional, uncensored. Welcome to Illumination Podcast. Welcome to a brand new episode of Elimination, the first of two semi-finals. Semi-finals, is my, it? Did you see my finals? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, I'm your host, Bob. I'm here with my dad, Dave. Hello. Uh, and cousin Pauline. Hello. 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 Um, so, uh, so, semi-finals. It's almost over. Oh, I can't believe it. I know. What a roller coaster ride of emotions. Yeah, it's been a lot of matches, well, but I've we've had got a lot yeah. of hangovers as well. Oh, yeah, it feels <laughs> like that, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I've had a bad day. Oh, why? Yeah, I've had a bad day. Well, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like counselling for me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's get it out in the open. Um, so, y- you know, I've mentioned my colonoscopy a little yeah, while back. Yeah, yeah that I was going to have it done, not have it done and all this kind of stuff. Well, I was supposed to have an assessment today at a hospital. So I went there. An assessment, in my eyes, is like asking questions like, how are you? How do you Where go? are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> um, and, and that's what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it turns out it was a... It was a, an examination. They had the film crew lined up, didn't they? Jesus, but you, had, did they? Actually, but you hadn't cleared your bowels. Oh well, I had, but not because they told me to. <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't have the drink thing that makes oh. you go. It was literally he had a. So let me let me talk you through it. I went in there and the bloke said, uh, uh, "Okay, ask me all the questions." And I thought, "Yeah, twenty minutes, that's it, gone." And I, I planned on going back to work afterwards, and then. Um, he said, "Oh, why don't you um, why don't you pop on the table, and we'll, I'll examine you." I thought, "Oh God!" Oh no! And I started to take my trousers down. He went, "No, oh, no, no, no! Don't do that! I just want to fill your stomach." I was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine." So he's filling my stomach, and he went, "Nice and soft." I I was like, "Well, yeah, that's a compliment from the doctor, <laughs> sure." Um, and then he and he said, "Yeah, if you roll over and pull your pants down," and I thought, "No, no. God!" So he did the finger, which was which is not too bad. You can sort of take that. And then <laughs> the funny thing was, I was laying there on my side, and I don't know if anybody's had it done. You've had it done, haven't you, Dave? Mm. Where you sort of have to pull your knees up to your chest yeah. as close yeah. as you can. So the finger goes up. He takes it out, and he says, oh, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it with a camera now, just to see, make sure there's no piles or anything like that, right?" But while he's telling me this, he's using me as an armrest. So he's got <laughs> one arm on my shoulder, one arm on my hip, and he's just sort of leaning on me with this big camera thing in his hand with a light on it, going, "Yeah, so I mean, we've we've uh, we've had a look. I mean, I can see that there's no piles, but um, we're gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this, and and I thought, get off me! <laughs> <laughs> he just leaned on me. So yeah, then it went up, and it it went up, and it kept going up, and. Oh. Jesus Christ! Bad uh, Olsen Cart, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he f- yeah, I I yelped with uh, See, with, I with, with delight. <laughs> I yeah. can't imagine that because when I had mine, I was half with it and half not. They injected me with. Yeah, no, see that was, it, we, this, this was just a news flash. Yeah, wasn't it? It yeah. yeah. This was report. this was a kind of yeah. It wasn't oh, a full you thing. You weren't going right. Yeah, yeah. but it, well, it felt like it. But he said, um, "I'm going to stop now." But he said, "I'm not. I didn't get too far, so I will have to put you through for a colonoscopy oh, in a God. couple of yeah, a couple of weeks." And I thought, "Oh God!" Like, and I I bear like it took me a while to get off the table. Like, it really yeah. hurt. Um. Yeah. Oh, so I. So then I wandered down the corridor, <laughs> sort of keeping <laughs> holding onto the wall, and I tried to ring the missus, and she wouldn't pick up. So I got in the oh. car and just sat there for a bit. <laughs> and cried. <laughs> yeah, I had a little cry to myself. <laughs> but I had to ring my my boss and say I I, I can't because uh, I suppose I could go in and do loads of boxes archiving stuff, and uh, I just there's no way I could have done it. There's just no way I could have put picked up something up or even bent yeah. over. Yeah, so that was my day. That sounds awful. Yeah. So I came home and worked for mine for the rest of the day. You think that was bad? I'd be up by nine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been abused. Uh, oh, Bob. Like, yeah. Don't sound nice. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, he was he was quite a friendly uh, doctor. Oh, that's all right. Be, <laughs> counteracts it, yeah. Um, but yeah, I hate going to... I mean, I don't mind it. I ain't got a fear of it or anything, but it's the waiting. 
I feel special when they call you. It's like being in a, in a queue and somebody going, oh, do you want to come in the VIP? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, it's like you're just waiting there of all the like losers that. and then all of a sudden somebody comes in and goes, Robert Rivet, oh, there, thank God, that's me, I'm out. Yeah. No, I hate doctors, hospitals, all of it. Yeah. I like Dr Pepper, though. I don't like that either. Oh, what? No, it tastes like perfume. Well, I can see that. What about Dr Dre? It's all right. <laughs> Dr. Shivago? No, I've not seen that. I've not seen it either. <laughs> it's long and romantic, so I'm not going to like it. Like me. Well, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we've been packing for a trip away. Yeah, you tomorrow. have. Yeah. I think we're going to get frostbite. <laughs> it's and come over. Look at me, even I've got jumper. Jumper, yeah. I'm not it's ridiculous, flushes, isn't it? Ridiculous. Yeah, it's cold in here, yeah. I've taken my hood down to put my headphones on. What's that all about? <laughs> Uh, August That's in it. Summer's over August now. in yeah, England it's Yeah It's usually sunny on my birthday which is I'm September. off to the Lincolnshire Wolds oh, yeah. nice. You taking wifey with you? Yeah Have to drive her You've up. been arguing all day, haven't you? Yeah <laughs> you really? They, like oh, no, they just keeps, rub each other she up She kills all ordering me around <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Silly he's... things like She said something about a bag And she went, oh, the, I'm go- I want to get one of these bags Like this big like bag and Dave went into the kitchen where we keep our bags to get his own bag. And she's going, it's not in there. It's not in there. Was, it's not in there. Was, so I'm getting my own bag. What? what are you I was, doing? <laughs> was like, yeah. I was sitting there having a cup of coffee and I just sat down the settee and she goes, you don't the cushion there. You want it here. It's my seat. I had the cushion where I'd be cushioned. She's organising me And then cushion. she was like, oh, OK, we'll, we'll just throw them away then. And he went, yeah, what? Then we'll throw them away. <laughs> threw it across the front room, yeah. Oh. I'm working from home. Like, oh, God. That's does, does my head. I wish, I'd, I, wish I'd gone, I wish I was there in another the one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just uh, it's been a bit... I think oh, it's because she's got good. a backup because you're going away and she's packing. Well, you'd and be he, excited. And he packed, it's been exciting. He packed, uh, like she said, oh, are you going to pack your stuff? And Dave went upstairs, disappeared for a bit, came back downstairs... And uh, then she went upstairs and had a look and went, "You ain't packed many t-shirts, Dave. You haven't. Oh, you you haven't. You haven't packed this. You haven't packed that." He's like, "Look, I've packed for me. You pack for you. Don't worry about me. There's yeah. all this faffing going yeah. on." <laughs> like, yeah, but when he's when he when she's there, she backs it. She back, he backs her. Oh, I know. Well, I get, yeah, yeah, you do. He, no, no. Well, no, because you make it worse. I think. What you, is it you say? She his, says it. His catchphrase is when I'm not there. Well, well, smokes the annoying man. Oh, he is. That's what he's, he's called yeah, me. he is irritating. Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't think you're irritating. Yeah, yeah, but no. I don't mean this funny. Dave's oh, the least irritating well, person. Yeah, but irritating. Yeah, but you're saying I, I, I love Dave. Yeah, the easiest I love Dave. He's my dad, and to get on you know. With. But yeah, yeah, agreed. Easy to get on with, chatty, and all that kind of stuff. But on a day-to-day basis. He's got... Of your making. He's so... I didn't ask you to come and live here, did I? <laughs> and that's why I don't complain about it, though. <laughs> you do. I am now, yeah. Uh, he's just got these these things where he's, you know, he, make, he sings and makes noise. What's it's, wrong it, with that? No, 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 no. On a day-to-day <laughs> on a day to day basis, on a day-to-day basis, it's... And it's not singing. He's criticising me for singing in my own house. No, 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 I'm not. I'm no, not. You are. I'm not. I'm not. You are. No, yeah, no. He, that just he, means he's happy, doesn't it? No. Oh, he watches cricket. It's... I'm watching cricket in the living room. <laughs> Joe Rue just got under, by the way. Well done, Joe. <laughs> it's not just that. I mean, Joe does listen. Hi, Joe. Um, he, he's, you know, it's, it's, he's very, he's a very loud person. Oh, not not just voice. Are you no, no, no. You not, know what you're I'm like. not talking about. It. Just I I'm, can't get a word in. Look, I'm not just his voice, but everything he does is 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 like it's on ten. Because it, it, he opens a cupboard or... Now, he, she's thinking, are em- you talking about the oh, same God, person? If he empties yeah, the dishwasher, well, really yeah. everybody in the house knows he's emptying the dishwasher. You know, it's oh, not- so now I'll get criticised if I'm emptying the dishwasher. It, well, if I didn't empty it, I'll get criticised if I'm not yeah, emptying it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You can't win. It's, it's, like, can't a Jedi win. Ma- really sure. it's like a Jedi master. He's, 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 he's just mixed it all around to make me the bad guy. But, but I am honestly shocked because... I mean, yeah... At seven in the morning, uh, when you when he goes boot sale, whatever. I mean, there he, he's you are loud. You don't. You. I'm not even going to go into it because it, it it'll be it'll become a big well, thing. You and like, You oh, opened up this can of words. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Dave has got foibles that are they're irritating. Well, that that's that's I don't that's know is. what to say. It I'm is. It's when I breathe, isn't that. it? You don't mind me breathing I mean, in. It's when are, I breathe out. You are a very loud breather as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. One day that'll stop. <laughs> it's appreciation for you, isn't Charming. it? Charming. I, I do shocked. appreciate it. I genuinely shocked that because I always think you you must be the easiest person to live. It's with. just a day. To, it's just a it, on on when you know when we didn't live here and we we uh, visited and all that kind of stuff. Never noticed it. Never noticed it. And Mum always used to say to me, "So you live with me before?" He's you, driving me mad. First, it's yeah, but as a kid, life. as a kid. Oh As a kid or a teenager, you kind of oh, it's your home, you whatever you know. I haven't had my own home. I don't know what what normal is, you know. But now I know what <laughs> quiet is. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, you know, they're the things I'll miss when he's not around. So you will, one there day. you go. I know. And I thought, and then the annoying thing is, is that I find myself doing exactly the same. And my fiance will go, "All right, Dave." <laughs> <laughs> It's true, I, I, and it's a, it annoys me. Sometimes I'm in the house on my own, and I'll go, trailer for say, <laughs> no, 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 don't do it. It's, yeah. Flies, oh, I don't see anything wrong with that. Ain't wrong with a bit of Roger Miller, mate. No, Flies are nice in your pea suit, baby. It's just random things. One line, not the not the full song, not the chorus, nothing. Just well, a line. More annoying. We're seeing the whole song. Yeah, I'd rather just have one line. I can't <laughs> like it. I'm joining. <laughs> you do whistle through your teeth as well, Dave. That is irritating. Bloody hell, Dave! He's got this a list. Is, he's uh, been saving uh, yeah, up. Yeah, this is the tip of the iceberg. No, this but, could be the whole show. No, but it is, Dave, isn't it? No, more about films. It's like just slagging me. I've got to keep going. No, no, he, 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 go on, do it. I don't. Yeah, oh, you do. I very rarely yeah. whistle. What are you talking about? I'm you good. always whistle. You always whistle. He's whistling all, all the time. Have you ever heard me whistle? No, whistling. Well, there you go. It sounds oh, like I'm just totally backing you yeah, up. Yeah, I know, but you can, don't live here. I can only here. go That's by it. what I say. That's I've like you saying about whistle. Lewis, and I'm like, well, Lewis is the easiest going guy in the world. He is, but he seems... Oh, <laughs> she's getting angry. He is, but... I've gone back in time. He's like living <laughs> in the 70s at the moment. She's living a uh, good night, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know what to say to that. Well, that was Quite me. That was me getting it off my that. chest. <laughs> you need to play the thing. Yeah, get it off your chest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I suppose we should do the Left draw. In a bad mood, that doctor, isn't it? Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's put it right on me. Right, this is match number sixty-one, I think. Semi-final. I'm oh, nervous. This is. Oh. I, I mean, I'm gonna the last. I'm the, last... the first one. Ready. Oh, I'm nervous. It's Mr. Shawshank Redemption. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Versus. Seven. Whoa. Ooh. Both Morgan Freeman. It's a Morgan Freeman derby. It is. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Set, well, uh, do you want to read out who they beat, Dave, or have we already done that? Well, I can do it again. Shawshank. Speed, 3-0. Titanic, 2-1. Commitments, 3-0. Home Alone, 3-0. Seven. Casino, 3-0. Wayne's World, 9-0. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs, 2-1. Fargo, 2-1. That's tough, isn't it? Reservoir Dogs and Fargo. That's, yeah. that's harder. I mean, this this could be Titanic versus Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, I suppose it could be, really. Or Titanic versus Wayne's World semi-final. Swing! So, that was never going to happen, was it? Zang. Um... Well, where do you want to start? Let's start with Morgan Freeman. <laughs> uh, what other Morgan Freeman films were in this competition? Um, it's oh, yeah. tired of me then. Yeah, it's really. a, um, uh, I, 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 I can't think of one. I can't think of one. Uh, Unforgiven. Ah, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have got that. I forgot about it. Yeah, I mean, what other Morgan Freeman films are they? Where to, Miss Daisy? He done the comedy with. Uh, Jim Carrey, didn't he? Back God. Oh, Bruce Almighty played yeah, God. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was all right. I didn't mind that. Yeah, and we've got no Batmans in here, so he wouldn't be in any of them. No, he was in Dark Knight when he... He was loses. in a film, film, film about the rain, where they done the robbery in the rain. Was it called Rain? Quite possibly. Uh, but Shawshank Redemption and Seven are golden perform performances from... Which one came first? Chicken or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> the prison break or the uh, serial killer? I'm not sure. I think they're both 90s. <laughs> <laughs> they better be, otherwise this is farcical. <laughs> I watched um, Shawshank. We watched it about a week ago, didn't we, Yesterday, Bob? I think yeah. it was. Oh, did you? Oh, oh, dad, so, yeah, because oh, I thought, okay. I need to really know these films now. Hone it, I yeah. forgot a whole massive, massive, huge part. You know the... 
the bloke that the prisoner that comes in and tells them what he'd overheard. Tommy. All that. I forgot that they shot him. Oh, yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah. that whole thing. And as I was watching, I was thinking, you, you bastard. bastard. <laughs> oh, really? Would, yeah. you, would you be willing to stand up in a court of law? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely. what that's what I thought. Yeah, and okay. he steps back, didn't that's he? And I thought, him. oh, no, yeah. they're going to kill Completely forgot that. And even though I've seen it loads of times, I still got the same tingles, you know, when he's, Morgan Freeman's sitting on the wall and he opens it and there's the letter and, yeah, and he yeah. meets it. I still got the same, oh... And when he walks into the cell, we're like, where the bloody hell is he? Yeah. So I remember the first time watching it thinking, well, where is he? Because I didn't have a clue. Yeah. Well, it's when, they walk, when he walks around and he goes, I want everybody I want everybody questioned, especially that guy he hangs around with. Which one? That one. <laughs> <laughs> Shawshank's 94, Seven's 95. So he probably weren't a film in between. He probably went straight from one to the yeah, other. Yeah, probably. Cool. Well, oh. mind you, Shawshank... Shawshank was put together a lot earlier than when it actually came out. Oh, okay. Because of that, because they went back and did the reshoot of them on yeah. on the beach. So quite possibly done before. But yeah, I mean, it's amazing. If you if you was an actor and you was only did one film in your oh, in it had life, to be, yeah, and it was one of these two. I mean, that's it. You're done. You yeah. know, you legendary status straight away. It, oh, it's just epic. And I, it makes me wonder whether. Um, you know, anybody else was lined up to be, you know... Did oh, anybody... I love that subject. Yeah, did what, anybody turn it down? turn down yeah. films? Yeah. Oh, it could wouldn't be... be right, would it? Yeah. Well, it would be the norm, wouldn't it? It'd be Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt sitting there. But you know the actor in Shawshank? <laughs> what one? What one, Pauline, are we well, talking one, about? It's all about Andy. Andy Dufresne. Yeah, what's was his he name a good in man? real life? Tom, uh, t- I always say t- t- Tom Rivet. Rivet? Tom Rivet? <laughs> Tom... <laughs> Oh, God, I've forgotten his name. Oh, Hutton. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. That's it. Well, what else has he been in? Because apart from... He Shark was in Tank... The Player, which I thought was a really good film, and I wanted to be in this 64, oh. but it never made it. No, so it was rubbish. So he's not a big, he was in, um... actor, then, is he? He's in a lot of films. Oh, he was in another it's film in this. Oh, I don't... Arlington Road. Arlington Road was, Arlington Road was oh, good. Yeah, he was the bad Arlington guy. Road, yeah. He was also in... He's um... very tall, wasn't he? he looked oh, sure. yeah. Especially in The Player, he looked about seven foot tall, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But I don't think he's an actor like... Brad Pitt and all them, is he? Because I don't feel like I know him that well. No, he's almost he like... He don't look like a leading man, does he? You know, he doesn't look like a no, film star. But then that makes you wonder whether he is it is that good because you're you're not seeing him... Like, for instance, if it is Brad Pitt or Matt Damon or somebody like that, is it does it hold up because you you haven't seen him in loads of different things in different yeah, you know I if it's it Robert does. De Niro and you know I think I think it does as well yeah I like it's, it it's don't. that thing of um, one of my pet hates of new sitcoms is when you see the lineup and it's like okay I know all the five of those people I know I've seen them in hundreds of things and you just know what to expect and they're not playing characters that are different they're playing the same yeah. sort of thing and I think that is. Same with Shawshank. I think because he's not world renowned. I mean, he is. Not to We're me not putting not. him down, but yeah, but he's not mainstream. You couldn't name like Morgan Freeman, you know, or Brad Pitt. You couldn't yeah. name ten of his films or whatever. Um, well, I do like the uh, anything like prison films, prison films, POW films. Yeah. I, do, I do like that. That as a subject for a film. I've seen dozens of POW films. And I love all of them. Prison of a War. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I was keeping yeah. up there. <laughs> Just checking. I, I would have f- whispered it to you. <laughs> I think my favourite POW film is Stalag 17, which is, we should watch that one. You day, mentioned Bob. that before, yeah. It's yeah. a great film. William Holden, who what, I really like. What about um, uh, Alcatraz one? With oh, yeah, Kim that's Eastwood. good. Yeah. That's why I can't believe you've never seen that, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologise, that Escape from um, Sobibor. <laughs> I definitely pronounced Escape it wrong. Escape from Sobby, Sobby Ball. <laughs> True story. It tells you, oh, Dave, you have to watch it. Well, what, what, from what war is it? What war is it? Where no, is it? Is it a war film? Yeah, it's when it's the Who's in the it? Jews. Where they burn in all the Jews oh, and that. Right. Oh, it's just awful film. Who's in it? Don't know. That might oh. be why I didn't there watch it. There isn't. I don't think there... Well, it's a really old film. Escape from... Zwarzy ball. Yvonne, am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> Definitely because, not. No, I'm not. Aunt saying Yvonne that. does listen before she no, goes to bed. I, Yvonne it's all tucked was, up in bed. I think the one that told mum about the film. George or Gabor? What? George <laughs> <laughs> or Binks? A lot of husbands escape from her. <laughs> mm. 
I'm sure it's called Escape from Zombie Boy. Oh, it makes me cry every time. Yeah, see, is it I, black and white? Or I, is it? I didn't yeah. fancy yeah. the boy in the striped pajamas. I, 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 I find, oh, no, it, really I find it a bit harrowing, and it's yeah, this is harrowing. But I remember being a kid watching it the first time, and I didn't realise the what the fire, you know, the smoke, yeah, and they yeah. kept looking up at it. And then when Mum explained to me what it was, and tried to explain what happened, and then you see him, all the kids and that in the queue. And, I remember just being absolutely completely. It is well, like, on my mind it is unbelievable weeks. that actually. Well, happened. for for me, I, I I struggle with things like that because I that's why I make when I feel uncomfortable it's something a subject I make a joke. It's like a defense mechanism. It's like I can't take my brain there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't. I can't even contemplate what was going on or what we what they went through or it's like what Fred said about Saving Private Ryan, isn't it? It's, it's like that. You can't even. Even a film as as good as that, the opening scene can't even make can't it as imagine. as harrowing. It I think it's something I find really strange about the prisoner of war thing in the in the Germ- in Germany during the Second World War is that you had that thing with the Jews and that, which was so harrowing. They used to treat them like they were nothing, you know, yeah. exterminating them and just shooting them for fun, experimenting yeah. on them. But then you had the British soldiers' prisoner of war camps, and the uh, the upper class uh, uh, people used to form these escape committees and do escaping, and when they get caught, it was like uh, naughty schoolboys, you know. I mean, I know there were times with, like in the like, the Great Escape where they got them together and shot them, the Richard Am- uh, Ambrose gang. But on the whole, you see all these films; they just they just sort of get caught, and that's put in uh, punishment for about a week, and then they're out again to try again. They just treated them sort of like naughty schoolboys, and yeah, not kind of been far away. They're doing the complete They're doing opposite. The, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, bizarre, isn't yeah. it? It is bizarre, but um, I mean, we talk about the Holocaust a lot on this, don't we? Do you feel like that? I yeah, blame. Sh- what's that film? Yeah, uh, what is it, Paul? Something about a list. <laughs> And I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Schlindler's <laughs> Schlindler. <laughs> Schlindler's list. Chandler's. <laughs> list. <Chandler's. laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it is harrowing, but um, it, it, it did go out. So, I mean, with seven. That's harrowing as well. Yeah, I, it is. But it, it, but in such a. <coughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> just, just the one, is it? Yeah, just the, the one. one. Yeah. Yep, okay. Um, uh, yeah, it's so. It is harrowing, but it's so engrossing. It, like, like, I mean, you asked me what city it was based in, didn't you? Yeah, like, there's a bit of a... Some people say New York, but and they don't actually say it's New York. I don't, no. I, I don't think it's really it's known. Mills has moved from somewhere to somewhere to be part of that. Yeah, I don't think they actually say where it is. At what point does John Doe get Mills as a subject? Because, I only ask this because... If that bloke's been in that bed for a year and there's a photo for every day, does he know Mills is going to be wrath? Then? Yeah, when he kidnaps well, the bloke. Well, I would have thought so, because when he started that, Mills was still in his other city. Well, that's what, I'm, that's what I mean. Like, is he... Was he just doing Maybe all he was that? just going to do something to one of the lead detectives, or it's just for... Maybe he only decided after he uh, chased him and he put the gun to his head, thought, I'll have you later. I don't know if he found out. Well, he, he found out where he lived through the cops paying cops yeah, money, didn't he? Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Easy to get information. Yeah. And he does shout his name down the stairs, doesn't he? Yeah, M I double L S. Fuck off. Man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, I always wondered that. He set it up so early because the sex thing came later. There was weren't much planning in that. The fat bloke needed to be fed for a long time yeah. oh, before yeah. he sort of exploded. Oh, it sounds awful, did not it? Yeah, but um, and yeah, and and that's how horrible that is. Like when he says, uh, he, he looks in the bucket, and he go, he goes, oh, what's that down there? He's like, oh, it's a bucket, and he looks in it, he goes, Fruff. and he goes, what's in? It? He goes, vomit. And he goes, uh, was there any blood? <laughs> I don't know, but you please have a look. <laughs> <laughs> And it's so good how it sort of they find the little scrapings inside him, and then Somerset goes back and looks at the fridge and sort of sees this, and then he moves it, and then that's where it starts, and it that's yeah. where they find I think it's pride or whatever it is. Yeah, I mean it's just so well done. The good job Somerset was there because they would never have sussed out it was the uh, 
the seven deadly sins, would they? Yeah. Because nobody yeah. else would have moved that fridge. No, nobody even bothered. Or the, the thing would have painted and this, that and the other. Yeah, that's right. So all his hard work would have gone down to nothing. Yeah, <laughs> No one would have known. Well, because he, he, he said, didn't he? He said, pride, lust, whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. These are all linked and there are going to be more. And uh, and he and he says, I don't want any part of it. I don't yeah, want any part of it. Because he keeps saying, didn't he? I don't yeah. want to know. I don't want to. Of course, he wouldn't have had to go in the library these days, would he? Just done it all on laptop, wouldn't he? Yeah. Looking up all and they're, the playing poker, they? yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're playing poker, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Playing poker. He's like, oh, we're cultured. We got yeah. culture. Can't, like, listen to this. I didn't realise that that you know the baddie. I never John remember Doe. the names. Like, it's the same man in that American Beauty. Beauty. Yeah. I didn't realise that. Kevin Spacey. Yeah. yeah. And they're Confidential. That. Yeah. The, the films, the the first few times I watched it, I didn't realise that either. No, it's I only when I recently I, I thought, oh, and uh, the other oh, one, uh, unusual, the... unusual subjects, suspects. Uh, yeah, usual, usual suspects. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that was one of the first films I saw him in, and that's why I didn't realise that was him. Yeah. And then when I went back and watched it, because I was a big fan of Usual Suspects, um, when I watched Usual Suspects, I, I went back and I thought, oh, it's him. Kind of connects yeah, it all, I yeah. When I watched it recently, I thought, oh, it's him in America, that weird film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America, <laughs> America yeah, that is a strange film, isn't it? Really, that was in this one. But I, I like it for some what, reason. What film, Bob? American, American Beauty. Beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. I do actually like the film. Yeah, I do as well. But there is something weird about it. Lost the Truman Show, round one, 3 0. Yeah. I mean, there, there was a, yeah, the whole thing with the bag, the, the neighbour with the camera was weird, super yeah. weird. And uh, the bag and the film, uh, yeah, and the dad. Thinks he's gay, but he's not, but he's gay. not gay. And then the dad turns out, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, whole thing's he gets, weird. He gets super weird, but yeah, <laughs> it is but good I do at like it. Time, yeah. yeah, the relationship between him and the wife is brilliant. Oh, it's excellent. When he's working in the the uh, takeaway place and she pulls up with her new <laughs> with bloke. With her new bloke. Yeah, well, not and even know they're still No, married. yeah, and he's super nice, isn't he? Yeah. Have a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yeah. How about it then? Well, bef- well, Dave's suggesting a, a uh, Pauline versus Bob, but I've got something else. Oh. I've, oh. I've got a little get it off your chest. Oh. <sighs> now, today. We, know that, um, we know that we've had Fred on the show before and we had his... He was annoying, wasn't he? Oh, <laughs> he, well, he was annoyingly fantastic. good. <laughs> I love um, him. Yeah, he's top man. Um, uh, I miss him a lot. We had him on at the weekend, didn't we? And uh, it was good He'll laugh. Be back. He'll be yeah, back. Yeah, it was a good laugh. Um, anyway, so I messaged him today um, because he did a get off his chest saying how annoying his sister was, right? So now I've asked for his sister to say, is there anything you want to get sister? Little Emily. Emily. Little oh. Emily, yeah. Oh, he's so, eight. Yeah, so i got I got a couple of things to play. So we'll, we'll play this one first. I'll turn it out. My name's Emily and... I live in Bexley Heath and I want to get something off of my chest. And my big brother's really annoying. So that's what she sent me initially, right? Yeah. And then I said, well, I need more. Like, what? Elaborate. <laughs> yeah, elaborate. elaborate. And then she sent me this one. He, my brother annoys me a lot because he always, um, go, whenever I go past him, he farts. And he's got a really annoying voice, so when I'm trying to concentrate, he always um, is really loud and he's got a really annoying voice and he always wakes us up in the middle of the night. So he plays his computer. I spoke to him after. He was in here, did he? <laughs> no, he was very yeah. well behaved, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was. But, uh, yeah, apparently he's uh, on his computer game, obviously, young lads today yeah. on the computer games, you know, chatting to their mates and keeps her awake. So, yeah. So oh. siblings hate each other. <laughs> that is official. <laughs> so he f- he finds her annoying. She finds him annoying. Yeah. Like me and you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Look at me earlier. I'm not annoying. <sighs> There's nothing annoying about me. No, of course there ain't. Go on then, Dave. Elaborate. Come on. Send it back. No, let's talk about the. No, no. We're talking, we're talking about the children. The children. The children. <laughs> but all brothers and sisters, you know. Did you fight with your? Siblings. Yes. Did you? Yeah. Who did you fight with the most? Well, you had five of them, didn't you? Yvonne. Did you? Oh, yeah. she's in oh, bed now listening to this. Mom. She's in bed now <laughs> listening to this. You still fight now when you have games, don't you? I find it uh, uh, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I can imagine you and Yvonne getting on. Like, 
obviously you do did get on, but you know, I just mean, explain, I Dave, you... where, what child she was and what child you were like. In I was a very nice child, and she <laughs> wasn't a very nice child at all. Well, he wants the one that was watching the, uh, the. I was the youngest, and I had three elder sisters, so and life was wasn't she... great. She's not the oldest, is she? No, she's the youngest of the three sisters. Right, They're okay. three, four, and five years older. Right. Okay. So. She was the one you argued with the most. Yeah, definitely. It's the famous thing of the TV, isn't it? Oh, don't get me on that subject. <laughs> Still now, it, it grates him. Even listeners to this, we listen to this every day. What, <laughs> what happened with the TV? On the Sunday afternoon. Oh, here we go. No, go on, Dave. Go on. On the Sunday afternoons, when we, we, I don't know, uh, talking about late 60s, early 70s, there used to be a program called The Big Match. And there was no live football back then. The only time you could see Match of the Day was on BBC One, you saw one match. And the big match was on ITV Sunday afternoon, and they showed highlights for three matches. That's the only football you saw. There was nothing oh, that's else. It. No that's, games. No, 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 that's it. So, um, on the Sunday afternoon, I'd like to watch the big match. The big match. Yeah. But no, there was always an old film on, an old black and white film from 1932, and she always used to get her own way with me mum, and we always had to sit through this whole film. Well, you I bet, never got to I bet she's, f- but I bet she's fuming in bed now. She's fuming. <laughs> but then we got a colour television, and the old, bl- the old black and white one went in the spare room. Oh, that's all right then. So well, great. I'll be able yeah. to watch the football now. Yeah. Old tight ball league. So, <laughs> so when the football came on, I think, hang on, your football's in colour. Yeah. Old black and white film in black and white. So I'll watch the football in it. No, I'm watching, I'm watching the f- film in here. So she'd sit and watch the black and white film in black and white on the colour telly. No. I'll go in the other room and watch the colour football on a black and white telly. <laughs> So you put your case, start putting a case to the judge, your mum. No, I think we go with Eva on this one. And he never got over it. If the film's in black and white, yeah, exactly, exactly. 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 Here, ask her that question. Brilliant, (laughs) brilliant. Perhaps it's because she didn't want to sit in the dining room, like in the other room. Do you reckon she wanted to be in the front room? Well, yeah, but I mean, common sense prevails. It's only on for an hour. So then she could have just yeah, over. just swapped over afterwards. Well, none of them. Because I'm, I'm probably you. out in the morning and out again in the afternoon. I just come Didn't in. Didn't say no. Come on. No, black and white no, no, no. I always sided with Eve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love you, Yvonne. <laughs> Miss you. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you're going to get it when you go around there again, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she put something on. She deny it, or you listen. Yeah, but she knows it's true. <laughs> <laughs> She's fuming right now. Yeah, man. Uh, also, I just wanted to say uh, Emily sent me this message as well. I oh, just off the cuff, out of nowhere. I love Bob because he's really funny and good to talk to, and he's really nice to everyone. And um, I like him because he looks like an orange. There you go. Oh, you look like an orange, you do today. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have a arm up my back when this is happening. I wrote that script. Uh, I don't agree with that, where she oh, said he's on. always nice to everyone. You've just been shit. Yeah. No, no, I edited that down. It, 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 she did saying it, you're always nice to the people that matter. He's been dissing me. <laughs> Wouldn't help him when he wanted you to do the I've do- oh, oh, don't bring that up again. <laughs> Don't bring that up again, Jesus Christ. Right, now, uh, that was... Get it off your chest. <sighs> Thank you, Emily. We shall see you soon. Well done, Emily. And uh, it's now time for one feature to another. Pauline versus Bob. I've got two to choose from. There's this Ooh. little one or this big one. So what one do you want to go for, Pauline? You need the, the points. One. You go with the little one. She needs the points. Given up on this. I listened to uh, an episode yeah, just today. Just with you. Yeah, it <laughs> right. Yeah, I listened to the one with Fred in it. It was good. It was good. Is it good? Yeah, I've not listened was. to it yet. Yeah, it was good. Uh, go on. Um, I've got YouGov's 2021 poll of the UK's most popular TV personalities. Oh, wow. There are 40 of them, and I'm going to give you a life, but I'm going to read you some of the people who... Just failed to make the 40, yes. all right? Kate Garraway was 41. Don't know who that is. 
Oh, she does some of the morning programme. Yeah, I Emma think. Willis, 46. Emma Willis, she did Big Brother, didn't Big she? Brother. Davina McCall, 48. Blimey. Tess Daly, 53. Oh, Eamon God. Holmes, 59. Oh, I, I like him. him. Oh, I really? Like him, Lorraine <laughs> Kelly, down at 60. Oh, oh. I bet she lived with And that. your favourite, Philip Schofield, 63. Oh. So they're the people who sort of people were after. But we want, obviously, more popular people than they are. You think some of them would be in the 40, Yeah, you? I would have thought. Especially old Phil. What's he doing down there? Good old Phil. <laughs> oh, boring Phil. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, what are we doing? Uh, heads. Heads, go hey. first or second? I shall go first. Yeah, that's a good tactic. Um, well, I'm gonna one go... life you get. One life. Well, yeah, everyone gets one life, Dave. No. <laughs> Indian people don't they go on to another life, don't they? I'm sure they do. Do they? The Hindu, yeah, they get reborn. Reincarnation. Oh, who wants that? Oh. One go around's enough. Yeah. You might come back to someone good looking next time. Oh, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's someone less orange. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um I'll go for his uh Philip Schofield's mate, Holly Willoughby. Holly Willoughby, you say. She's now, gotta be there. She's, she's quite popular. She's gotta she? be popular. I'm not a big fan of hers, if I'm honest. Comes in at number 10 on their oh, list. Pretty good, pretty good. I don't like TV people. Don't like like daytime TV is yeah. rubbish. I've got one that's it's in my a... head, but he's so controversial. So many people absolutely hate him. I know, you're, sure I know you're thinking of. He's number 26. Piers Morgan. Oh, no, not him. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh Piers Morgan. I thought he was thinking of someone else. Oh. Um... I'm going to go with, um, I'll go for my mate, Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, he's not a TV he's personality, not TV he's personality. Full. He's a comedian. He oh. don't present programmes, no does he? No comedians, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. That's because you said Piers Morgan, I'm blaming you for be, Piers Morgan's done that morning programme. I think, I think Ricky Gervais, if you get it, if you say, oh, this is Ricky Gervais, he's a TV personality, he'd be devastated. I right, just, anyway, you both lost a life. It's I just, thought of, a well, I just thought of a well-known it. person. That's your fault, that is. You know everyone on this list. Stop putting funny faces. Oh, no, that's my thinking face. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's on the telly in the daytime? It's not only daytime. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I've just Keith got... Keith Lemon. Well, that was always a time, oh, wasn't it, eh? And like... McPartland. Declan Donnelly. No, one of them's in it. One ain't. What? Oh, only one. I can only one. Who's the one with the forehead? And That's Deck. No, Deck's the only one. Yeah, yeah right. Declan, <laughs> Declan Donnelly came in at 31. The other one was 60-odd. Oh, oh yeah, he's the drinker. I was going to say Susanna Reid. It was between the she there. No, she's not. Oh, he's gay. Dave's gay. Dave. You've so much Should we to... carry on? Yeah, let's carry on, Dave. Give us another life. One more life. One right. more well, life. Geez, so oh, that so song, that song is the most boring song in the yeah, world. Yeah, I'm not into that song. So I've heard... Uh, oh, I just... One more night. Yeah. Give me just one... And 20 nights later, one <laughs> more um, Right, OK. One more verse. Right. So I've done the Ant and Dick guy. Yeah. yeah no, because you didn't say and he's told you. That don't count. You said Ant McParl. It's actually Declan Donnelly who was in yeah, it. Yeah, so you've had your next life. There you're out. I won't. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, that is BS. Right, OK, look. Uh, okay, As you were okay. so pathetic, <laughs> we're going to start this again with no lives, all right? <laughs> so, Bob, you're first. Oh, Jesus. Oh. People, if they're listening to this, are probably shouting a million people. Yeah. Right oh, now. Jane might not know who these people are. She knows some of them, I'll tell you. Um, she knows number one. Everyone knows number one. Why don't we know and number And he's the one? obvious number Simon one. Simon Cow. <sighs> oh, God, what? Give up. Oh, what? Well, Pauline, you Who is it then? Who's number one? David yeah. Attenborough. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? Who was the one where I said not many people like him? Jeremy, Dale Winton. Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, no, I like uh, Jeremy Clarkson. Ten se- I like Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, I do. Did you watch The Farm? I love oh, it. Yeah. I, I was gutted when you finished. And right, it famous people you could have had. Uh, Brian Cox, 20. He's the stars man. Who's that? You know, no, the, uh, the one from Blur. Astronomy bloke. No. Gus De Campo. Chef. Chef. I wouldn't have got that. Gus De Campo. You Gordon mean Ramsay. Gino, Gino De Campo. Gino, Sorry, I like Gino. him. Jason Donovan was in there. What? Gordon Ramsay. Yep. Oh. oh. 
Oh. Hugh Edwards, Stephen Fry comes in at oh, six. I wouldn't have got in. Bear Grylls. No. no. I wouldn't have got any. Richard of these. Hammond. Ainsley ha- and Hegarty came in. Oh, the chaser woman. Yeah. I like her. As Trevor well. McDonough. <laughs> Chris Kamara coming at twenty nine. Unbelievable, Jeff. I Martin Lewis, Nigella Lawson. Gosh, she's lovely, Nigella Lawson. Uh, James May, Graham Norton at number two. Oh, that, oh. that was what. You know what? He's who I had in my head, and oh. then you said Piers Morgan, you and never. you just threw Ricky Gervais. Richard Osman. Oh, yeah. Pointless. Pointless. And his mate, Alexander Armstrong. Oh, Tony forget. Robinson, Rachel Riley. Oh, the lovely Rachel, Rachel Riley, not Susanna Reid. No, Stacey Solomon is 40. Oh, I like her. Jimmy, oh, no, Jimmy can't stand up. My favourite, Sandy Toskvig. Oh, I like God. her. I don't know really? why you don't like her in oh. the... She's on everything. She's all my favourite programmes. Yeah, 15 to 1. Uh, Do you like QI. Don't do it no more. Louis no. Farouk. Was it? Oh, he's my favourite. I wouldn't he's have got half these people. Carol Vorderman. And, What's this and last time Carol Vorderman did Another anything? one I don't like is uh, Claudia Winkleman oh. with that fringe. Oh, with that fringe, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I wouldn't have got hardly any of them. No, so me no, too. But I still want it, A couple of them. Couple Ten of them. seven. You can Ooh, still do it. You win. Oh, what? I thought it was none and void. I thought it was... Uh, no, she no, you, you, said you said do it again. You said do it again. Yeah. Oh, well. That was crap, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, Jesus, what was that? Did I that, that was a top answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was Pauline. That was barely Pauline. <laughs> I think I forgot to mention. Bob. Oh, God. It was me uh, research on the last fours. Oh, yeah. Should we save it, Dave, for next Oh, so one? next episode. We've, we've, yeah, right. we've talked about... What are you talking talk, about? You know people's predictions for the semi-finals. Oh. You were rubbish. No, yeah, I don't think none of mine are in there. I haven't seen oh, any of them. So I'm sure Shawshank's in there for me. I've not seen any of these. So Dave's done all the research, put them well, together. We'll the do it for the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. One. So we've covered a lot. We've covered a lot. We ain't even done diary yet. Oh, there it is. We're covering talk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're <laughs> watching Dave talk. Yeah, it's stuff out. Oh, it, it's like after the news when they go, oh, and I've been Dave for a bit. Good night. And he just shuffled his paper. We just watched it. <laughs> I don't have papers anymore, though, do they? No. They no. just like, do this with the mouse, don't they? When did the news suddenly become this thing where they don't sit behind tables anymore? They stand in this, on yeah, this great stage. Yeah, but they don't it? Don't, don't you don't, think? I don't watch the news. It's not as good as it used to be. I remember. <laughs> do you remember the ICV news where they used to have the uh, the last little story? No. They used to finish the news, which is all like bad Depression. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And they go, oh, I forget what he used to say in there. He say, and now the final story or something like that. And there was a bloke called Reginald Bosenket. He had a terrible wig. <laughs> it was terrible. It's like he was leaving the house. And his wife said, oh, Reg, you forgot your wig. And she threw it for a distance, just landed on his head and he went to the door. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was all sort of all the way around. That would go viral these days. <laughs> but he had one final story. He goes, uh, 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 so, uh, Mrs. Sanso from Luton or whatever uh, called the fire brigade today because her cat was stuck up the tree. And uh, they came along and after a great, you know, bit, a lot of effort, they managed to get the cat down. She was so pleased she made them all tea and cakes. And as she waved them away, they drove off in their fire the fire engine and run over the cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he and he, shot, <laughs> and he and as he told that last bit, oh, he he's, he's, Why he's we <laughs> no, there's, there's serious parts of this. As he as he said, oh run over the cat, he sort of smiled, and he got in big trouble for did it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Surprise, really. Oh. <laughs> That was actually on the news, News at 10. Oh, my God, that's oh, brilliant. That sounds like you heard it, heard it in the pub and you went, yeah, I'll use that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But they did they used to do that. It's like, yeah, all these murders and killings and explosions and everyone's oh, dying. I oh, think, and here's a squirrel on water skis. I think he used to say, like, and, and that's uh, Sartre's own Poland, and finally. That, that was, and that was yeah, it. That's what he said. Oh, something like hard. And it was always, yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Oh, they made but as he said, cake. the cat got run out. He ran out of the cat. He sort of done this sort of smile, <laughs> smug smile. Uh, that reminds me of um, the weird things that people get um, complaints for. Um, was the Jason Manford thing? Do you remember that when you were doing the one show? 
and they said um, they said, "Oh, we're going to go back to you, um, but we've got we've got to come back to you early because something didn't go right." And it, just wing it, just wing it. Talk talk about the. Do you remember the woman who put a cat in a bin? Yeah, I remember bin? that. Oh yeah, 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 I remember it was that. that. It was ages ago. Ages oh, ago. Oh, that was horrible. That yeah, story. but the woman came along. She picked up like it was all she couldn't season. explain why she done no, it. No, she just picked up a cat and put it in the bin. Didn't yeah, she? in a like what a green wheelie bin. Shut the lid. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, it's not. But, that's yeah, not she went on a stroke, didn't she? Stro- yeah, stroke and then just up picked up it up. And put it in. Well, she was finished with it. Well, <laughs> did she know? But, in that house, there's but, CCTV. Yeah. Jason Manford said, "Yes, I can feel air because I'm a com- comedian. But because I'm a comedian, oh, no. it's t- it's gonna. You don't know where it's gonna go. So they said." Um, uh, like the lady, he came back and the lady next to him said yes. So uh, obviously everyone knows about this story about the woman who put a cat in the bin. What did you think about it, Jason? And he said, "Oh, I thought it was a horrendous thing, um, but I showed it to my dog and he found it hilarious." <laughs> <laughs> and people complained. He got loads of complaints. About it. He was like, ah, "What they think? My dog's got access to YouTube? I mean, yeah. it's mental." Oh, I don't know why about people complain. Oh. So stupid. I don't even complain in rest- like if my food comes and it's stone cold, I'll eat it. Like, just, I don't ever complain. You don't know what they're going to do to you. You would if I put it a cold dinner in front of you, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, if you was whistling, why you brought it to me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd never complain, ever. Like, oh, I've got to tell them. I saw um, my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, what a man. Um, no, my mother-in-law, she, uh, she's murder for it. She don't care. Like, we was in um, in a restaurant in Blue Water, and, um, and we were sitting there having dinner, and it, it was a chain of restaurants that she goes to in other places all the time. And all she kept telling the bloke who was serving us was how rubbish this one is compared to the one she goes to. And she puts her fingers in... Everyone's food oh. and that, like, oh, that's right. I wouldn't eat that. That's runny. All right, no, now you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I get you. Get used to it though. She just does it, and it's like, oh god. And the blokes there, like, oh, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, and uh, don't worry about it. You know, he's like, oh, we're not. And then she'll let, he'll leave, and oh, I'm not paying full price. But they do. They do. You know, yeah. they just. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't do that. I just. I feel. I feel bad. I just can't do it. I'd worry that what they're going to do to the food when they take it back and bring yeah. you. Yeah, Spitting can you warm this up for me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet a lot of that goes on. Oh, it must do. Get your burger and wipe it along the floor and put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Take well, it to the toilet. Yeah, I bet oh. they do. Yeah, yeah. Don't get a uh, black light on it. Jesus, <laughs> 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 that reminds me of uh, mentioning um, uh, Gordon Ramsay when he did that restaurant that time and he went in and he was like, "The kitchen's filthy." Is fil- the kitchen's filthy? I'm going to go have a look at their toilet. Oh, and he no. went into the yeah the, the the urinal and that and the men's and it was like Christmas like the ceiling was covered he he was just like this oh. is the worst thing I've ever seen like he took the camera in there and it's just fluorescent the whole thing was like it never been cleaned and he and you go over to the owner and go when was it last cleaned oh, I I think it was last week <laughs> like what <laughs> <laughs> what with you have to wash it with stuff not not wash urine it, wash well, yeah, washed it with urine. <laughs> Yeah, so um, oh, there you go, your iron story. Oh, <laughs> I don't nice. know. I don't know how we ended up there, really, but uh, we do. Uh, it is now time for oh diary. Well, it's Bank Holiday Monday, thirtieth of August, nineteen seventy-one. He's got a day to himself. Oh, What's he going to get up to? Exciting one. This it's one. a bit sad. The first bit. Oh. In morning, play football round square with John Casapi. Like no one else turned no one up. There's just two of us. If only he is John Casapi. When I done my solo podcast, he came round yeah, and did, done it. Yeah. Done the Chelsea yeah. run with me. But, well, let me just sorry, Dave. I know we don't usually do this, but um, so how back then? How would you have let everyone know that you were going to the square? Um, probably when you saw him when you was in the pub the previous night. Fair enough. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah. And you going to the square tomorrow? We all, nearly always went round there on a Sunday anyway, so well, being a bank holiday. Yeah, you'd be there. Okay, carry on, sorry. In <laughs> afternoon, walk to Dulwich Park. At night, play soccer. Soccer? Soccer? Is that what, yeah, that's what I've actually soccer. wrote? Play soccer. So I was playing football in the morning and soccer at night. Did you turn American through the day? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Soccer. <laughs> Diary. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> um, well, football and soccer. Football and soccer. You... That's weird, isn't it? I mean, when you sat down to... Would... This is the question. Would you have written the morning bit after you'd got back from the morning bit and then the afternoon bit when you got back or just done the whole no, thing? No, I'll do the whole thing in one, one hit. Did you used to write it before you went to bed? Before, just last thing you do before you got in bed was write your little No, I don't diary. think so, because sometimes I used to come home hammered and there's no way I could have written anything like that. So you wrote it the next day, yeah, you probably, yeah, before yeah. the day before? Yeah. Do you I think, think so. you just didn't want to write the word football twice? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's just... It's a small space. Maybe I couldn't, fo- I couldn't fit football in there. It's only one letter, isn't it? Out. Soccer, football, yeah. I'll tell you something that's a bit strange. I've just noticed the Thursday's entry. We're not going to get Thursday's entry. Yeah, maybe on season eight. <laughs> you can tell it's a different world, can't you? Listen to this. <laughs> I bet it's only in anybody else's diary. Work. I'm going to need you to be a seat now. Work. At night, play trees. That's where we have yeah, a tree hit, each. hit the tree, yeah. Then have a laugh with a tyre outside Paul Fox's house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, diary bonus. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh with a tie. What'd you do? Rubbing oh, it up and down I, I the street. I think I could say I'm like crew like yourself. That was a. Shall I say? <laughs> yeah, 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 go, go on. on. It's 1971. <laughs> well, for some. You're going to make a Netflix special about Dave going to prison. <laughs> there was this. Um, there was this area around the. I think I mentioned it with uh, the black. The first black girl who came to Bessemer Grange. Oh yeah. Dale Green. It was Green Dale. Well, in Green Dale, people used to dump cars and stuff down there. And for some reason, they dumped this big, like, tractor tyre oh, down Jesus. there. It was bigger than us. It was massive, this tyre. I thought, oh, I'd have a bit of a laugh with that. Anyway. <laughs> Had a laugh with a tyre. Anyway. <laughs> I hope we don't listen to this. But uh, we Paul Fox, <laughs> who we still see now. You know, oh. I only saw him last week. And uh, his house was sort of opposite where you come out of Greendale. And... It's just sheer fluke, but he uh, he's got his house. Then on the side of it, you've got a gate that opens up to go to the back garden. You sort of go around the house, right, like, yeah. like it is, you know, yeah, yeah. around to the back garden. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be good if we could uh, hit that gate with this tyre? <laughs> so, <laughs> you could have killed... You could have been the I, kids I, I from know, Sleepers. I know, I know. You could have been yeah. the kids yeah. from Sleepers, Dave. Anyway, we give it a good old run-up, and blimey, it, it, it was like a Robin arrow for a Robin Hood's bow. It went straight as a die and just just flattened the gate. If someone had been on the other side of the other gate, we killed him. Like, but it was funny at the time when you're seventeen. Yeah, like, you don't realise. Oh, yeah. This gate then it just flattened and just went straight out of their back garden. Jesus, they could have yeah. been having a barbecue. Leg it. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. We legged it. Yeah. It's funny because he he <gasps> met up with them the other night, and that Paul Fox said um said. I remember this time where this big... <laughs> God, we oh, so Paul Fox time. wasn't actually with you? No. They wouldn't, <gasps> have, it was his, he he wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have agreed to it, would he? It was his gate. How he, did you do that to your mate's I'll house? never mention this podcast to him. I, I did once, because we went to that funeral, didn't Hence, mum died. We yeah, had the funeral. Yeah. That's the last time I saw him. He was there. And uh, I mentioned this podcast to him, and he goes, oh, I have to listen. I won't mention it anymore, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push yeah. it. If you I'll say, listen. make sure you start episode one. It'll take him a while to get to episode 110, <laughs> wouldn't it? Wow. Yeah. I mean, God. you do. You would have chose a different house than she your mate, Well, oh. his, his, one, his one was the only one where the d- nothing was in the way of the... It right, was just... just run up. We didn't plan it like a great robbery. It was just, oh, there it is. Uh, it it's is right, like seven, isn't it? Imagine your life could have turned seven, out. Yeah. Sleepers. Well, sleepers. Sleepers, got seven yeah. on the brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, your life it was could pretty, have turned out horrific. pretty stupid, but you do stupid things when you're young, don't you? Yeah. You do. You do. Some people do stupid things even when they're not young. Yes, Bob. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Robert Wrestling Federation on Facebook. <laughs> I still see that tide disappearing from us. Did you it? think shit? Yeah, we did. We, we, thought, we thought we were just going to go a yard and fall over. But it just went... <laughs> about 30 miles an hour and they must, have, they must have heard it like I've gone out and there's this massive tire <laughs> in their garden like what the, and, the, and, f- the, and the, how did you get rid of something like that I don't know <laughs> dump it on green now <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the, the, the gate it's like a, it was a gate but it was as big as a door you know like, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it just like it's your what, gate now I mean if someone had been the other side of that just waited to open that oh gate and God. flattened it yeah Jesus. I've been incriminating myself a lot in this podcast. You have, yeah, yeah. but it's like therapy. It's like confession. Yeah, yeah. I feel better for it. 
Good. Well, with, not only have we had diary and diary bonus, you've got something off your chest. Yeah. Yeah, look. Get it off your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Double bubble. Double bubble, yeah. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but um, it is, we're getting there. So oh, we... this is easy for me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a walk in the park for you. Yeah, this is, yeah. Well, do you want to it's go? It's not easy for me. No, oh, it's yeah, not for sure, me. Oh, yeah, sure, Shank. 100 million, billion, billion percent. Oh, right, so it's not even close. Not even a little bit. No, I like seven a lot. Otherwise, it's like, I wouldn't have got this far. No, I've chose Thingy over seven last time. What was what that? What was the last film I'm... against seven? No, I'll go. Yeah, I chose Fargo, didn't I? So oh. you, hate, you hate seven? No, I don't hate it. I, I do like it, but, oh, sure, Shank's it's just... Brilliant on every. I think level. Seven's a fantastic film. Yeah, I think I... they're both fantastic films, but Seven's all feel, the way through this. I, I think, think I'm backwards. leaning towards Seven. You know, I'm going backwards and forwards. You have to go with what your heart says. And then, um, I know which one I'm going for. I it... think he's better in Seven than he is in. Oh yeah, Chelsea. yeah, I do, I do, yeah, yeah. Because I think it's because there's more, more to him. He's more of a kind of complex guy, whereas he, you know, he's a young thief or whatever. Do we ever find out why he, why he goes to prison? Oh, murder. murder yeah, he did yeah. steal Andy, didn't he? Yeah. No, only, only guilty man in Shawshank. I'm oh, going for just seven. brilliant. I'm going for seven. I am. Yeah, I am. Wow. I think seven's a great film. Well, it's not a position I wanted to be well, in. Well, it's just beat Reservoir Dogs and Fargo, so it's got to be a great yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know which one I'm going for, and it's purely... Uh, there's only one thing that splits it, and that's because there's a scene in one of these films that just tips it for me. And I I love seeing it, and I I watch it over and over again. And it is the scene where he gets the beers for oh. the guys on the roof. I don't in, remember that in, in Seven in, <laughs> in, <laughs> in Shawshank. And that that just my screensaver on my computer was him sitting in the shade. And uh, and I just, that that warms my heart every time I sort of warms get it. Your heart. Yeah, they're in a horrible, horrible, horrible See, situation. He had to go against me in this, didn't he? He did. If I'd gone Shawshank, he, he would have gone, gone seven. Seven, hundred percent. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Hanging on about. Um, yeah, I, I just I, and it's I, I say it's fifty point five with the rest. Forty nine point five. That's it. That's <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Maths was never my forte. But Seven is a fantastic film. And I could watch it again tonight, both of these films. But just that scene, it, it, all the way through it's great. But that scene is is better than any one scene I can pick out in yeah. Seven. That's the only difference. That is the only difference. So, um, so yeah, that it's official. So that is a bit We of have our final. first our first finalist, yeah. It's been cl- so close all the way along. I went backwards and forwards all the way through this did episode, you? yeah, oh, thinking did. about the scenes and thinking about Morgan Freeman and that, but, yeah, it's a justified final. Oh, it's got to be done. Yep, yeah, do it, Dave. There it goes. Seven is out, 2-1. The Shawshank Redemption makes it through to the finals of Elimination Yay! Season 2. How exciting. <gasps> Which league? We're almost there. Which we know what the next... I don't mean we should announce it. I think we should just... Oh, bloody hell. People know. What's he done? What's he done? What's he done? I put Shawshank Redemption knocking out Shawshank Redemption. Oh, he's writing on the card, everyone. <laughs> he can't write. Jesus Christ. Right, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's build it up to the end now. Uh, okay, so um, Shawshank Redemption is our first finalist. So we're going to uh, announce the next semi-final? No, no, no. Don't we'll do it next time. You know what they are. Everyone knows what they are. But we will announce that'd be, it. That'd be one, my hardest Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Well, you better get some thinking, yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shawshank is through to the final. Seven is out. It made it all the way to the semis, which is, I don't think many people would have had No it. mean feat. Absolutely. Next time on the next episode, we will be obviously in announcing the, the, uh, the films we're talking about but also the episode on Friday coming up will be a bit late because Dave's going away and we're going to do it when he gets back which will probably be in the afternoon I'll Friday. drive like a maniac <laughs> he's a maniac <laughs> maniac Don't know that on, on the, the floor. floor oh on the run I thought it was on, the on the floor on the run on the run because it wasn't that and bad main... to tie up <laughs> <laughs> don't mention the war <laughs> um, mentioned it once got away with it yeah so Friday's episode will be uh, later in the day uh, which we will be going through everyone's uh, predictions as well yep. I'm dying to um, know what mine were yeah, I can't. Um, I can't remember anything. I know one. That's it. Um, anyway, so uh, take care, and we shall see you next time. Uh, this is Silent Natives uh, with "Love It," which is a really great song. Love Check it. it out on Spotify. See you later, everyone. Bye. 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 We 
watch the sunrise, we watch the sunset. You film the whole thing, don't wanna forget. Some places we could spend years and years. Wish you could see this, wish you were here. We climb the mountains, the highest trees, to see all the world. Yeah, you and me. Sometimes it's hard to say what we see. You should be standing right next to me. You could close your eyes and dream of paradise. We'll come and face your fear. We wish that you were Come! 